Hey there, today we've got a Yamaha MT-07 ABS model, it's a 16 on a 16 and it's got 14,346 miles on. It's in the grey and the fluorescent yellow. Yeah, it's a very nice tidy bike. I'll show around us, there's no real marks on it. Yeah, the wheels are all nice and clean. Engines are all nice, there's no rust or anything on it. Or any same corrosion that they like to get these sometimes. There's a couple of little chips on the wheel there next to the wheel weight where someone's obviously balanced the wheel in the past. Very light stone chips on the fork legs. Apart from that, it's a nice bike. They do get bought to be used these, so you do see a few that are a little bit raggy around the edges, but this one doesn't seem to be. It's a nice bike. The chain's got a few stiff links in it, it's not the best, so the sprockets aren't bad at all. So I'll put a new chain on when I service it before it goes out. So ignore that chain, it looks a little bit dirty, because that will be changed. There's some rub marks on there where she's had something tied on the back seat. And there's also a little well, like split on the outer cover on the seat there. These MTs have a problem with the speedos on them. They're just the speedo kind of stops working on them so Yamaha changed quite a few in the warranty this is one of them that's had it done so it's only showing 171 miles on the clock but in the paperwork it says that the bike had the clocks changed and it was 14,000 and something miles on when they were changed so everything's in there to back it up but it's got 14,300 miles on the bike although the speedo only says 171 I've rode it around here and ran it out of petrol so we'll see if it'll start No, it won't. It's got no petrol in. I have to push it back where back around the workshop from here. But yeah, it's a it's a lovely clean bike, and it's the ABS one. And it's not being messed about with. It's all original. It mightn't have any petrol at the minute, but when it has got petrol, in, it sounds spot on. So there you go. Thank you very much, James.